Hey everybody, <laughs> coming at you live from Gear Room Central, or what's also known as my basement. <laughs> Alright, now everybody knows, or a few people know, that I have a long list of uh, videos and ideas for videos and subjects I want to cover. And uh, I just, some of them are outdoors away from the house, some I can do at the house, some take a long time, some take prep, but anyway, I try to get to them as I can. This video has been nagging me for a while, and what it is, it's for checking old aluminum, aluminum, or aluminum <laughs> uh, cookware, testing it for toxicity, all right? Now, <clears throat> some people like likes uh, aluminum cookware, and some people don't. Uh, some thinks it's toxic, some don't care, say it's been around forever, all right? Well, the thing about the aluminum and cook wire is, it, I'm not real sure what it is, but some of the older stuff from the 50s and 60s, I don't know if it was the way it was uh, smelted or forged. Uh, I don't know if it's got something to do with the way they processed the ore or the bauxite. Uh, or, I don't know if it has something to do with the simple fact that some of this cookware is so old that as cookware heats up, the, 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 supposedly, as it heats up, the, the pores open up. And as the pores open up, it can absorb whatever you have had in it. So let's say that some of these old things right here, some of this old cook wire was used for nothing but uh, coffee and food. Okay, no problem. But you don't know what it was used for. And then let's say that somebody was uh, heating up motor oil or heating up who knows what, you know. And so you don't know what's in the pores of these things. So supposedly the way to test for toxicity is to just take a little bit of applesauce and put some applesauce in the bottom and put it over the fire. Don't boil it. Just warm it up and get it to simmering. Okay, let it simmer for a little while. And if this stuff stays the same color, your uh, cookware is okay. And if it turns kind of a pinkish, maybe a reddish tint, it's toxic. Don't cook with it. It has officially become... A ornament that you use on the shelf all right so let's pick out some pieces here out of uh, this is my a lot of my really old this is my oldest stuff I have right here so we're gonna pick out some of these pieces and take them out and put them on the fire and test them one other thing that I want to show you real quick before we uh, do this is I want to talk about this one thing here take a damp uh, paper towel I have two of them here now if you have some cookware that you use very often this I use I have used a lot and I've cleaned it a lot. This is a I don't know Bor Borgeau Borgette I think made in France. Borgette Borgeau I don't know I'm not sure I don't know how to pronounce it. But this is very extremely old. But this gets used so much and cleaned so much that it's at like like a high polished finish. So you take a wet wet paper towel and rub real hard. It's a very, 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 very light tint. There isn't much there. Now, when you have something like this that doesn't get used very often, this is an old, this is a cast pot. And I don't know if this is cast or stamped. I'm not sure. But this one doesn't get used much. It's very old. It's one of those kind that even had a place for a handle to, to hold. But I would use it hanging. But you can take... A clean cloth like this and you can rub the inside of it and scrub and scrub and this has even been scrubbed with a brillo pad and it's like no matter how much you scrub that rough surface this is the color you get and what this is is basically an aluminum oxide which is basically bauxite but it's bauxite without the ore impurities is what it is all right and this is what naturally occurs on the surface of old aluminum that is allowed that is just allowed just to sit around it, it's 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 just one of these things you don't really want to be alarmed with it but what you want to do is just scrub it until it's gone but that's what it is because in an aluminum that's used and kept to a high polish is it, it it doesn't have that but that's what this is right here and so whenever you're breaking out your old stuff like this what you want to do is just scrub and scrub and scrub until this is gone, until you get it anymore. 
And sometimes if you scrub too hard, you'll continue to get this. So instead of scrubbing, then you want to start polishing. And the polish will make this go away. Alright. So let's pick this stuff out here now. Let's, uh, <clears throat> here's one old set right here. I haven't used this one too much. And I've used both of these a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to pick out the one in the middle. Because these are supposedly from the same old set. I'm going to use that one. I'm definitely going to use this cast thing. Because some of these others are stamped. Still don't know what year they're from. The cast has got to be very extremely old. So we're going to use those two. This is from my wherever set. Not real sure how old it is. But I think that we want to use it. And inside this wherever set, there was a bunch of uh, cups and a bunch of the little saucers. I showed these on a video one time. And then one of these. And so I'm supposing this is all from about the same era because it's all marked the same. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to put this old pot in there. And then I'm going to put the cup in there too. So we're going to test these. So that's one, two, three, four. It's four items. And then this is my uh, 1049 uh, Master Chef trail set. And I think the number was a 1049. This is the pan. And somebody had told me they made this. This is a real popular set throughout the 60s and 70s. And I had learned through research that the some of them had flat lids. Well, the ones that had the ribbed lids like this were pre-1956. So this set is from the 50s. So I believe what I'm going to do is, knowing that this is a complete set, also knowing, now I've added these cups. I know for a fact these cups are not old. And that's stainless steel there. Stainless is always safe. Let's see. Oh, these are not socks. These are Nomex sleeves to protect uh, from burning your arms. Now this... I don't know if this is the same pot or not. I don't know if it's only got one rib. So I think what we're going to do, this was never intended to be a coffee pot. This is a cocoa pot. So now this is definitely pre-1956. So we're going to test this jewel out. We're going to, that's another item right there. Now I think what we're going to do here, let's see, we've got... There's a pan down in the bottom, and then there's two of these. And I think what I'm going to do... Now, i got to be able to tell. This is the same size as that other one, and it actually looks the same. So let's pull this over here and take a look. i got to look at this here, because this is from the Chef Master set. Now, look at the bottoms of them. They look identical. And the way they're made on the sides are identical. So that goes to tell me that this other little three-piece set could very easily also be from the 50s. Now, I can't see any kind of distinguishing difference of it. And I'm just going to have to try to remember that this, the darker one... Let's see, the darker one goes with the original set. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... I'm going to leave these side by side when I put them on the fire. So we've got two, four, six. We've got six items. We're going to put some uh, applesauce in. So let's go out and make a fire, and then once the fire dies down, we're going to start putting this stuff on the fire. Got to start with some wood. I got my uh, helper out here with me. <laughs> he just won't leave me alone. <clears throat> All right, so let's put, put a little bit of wood right here. <coughs> All right, I got an old cattail. Not this kind of a cattail, but this kind of a cattail. <laughs> Get out of here. The wind's blowing pretty hard today, so I'm going to light this inside here. I need a 
fluff it up a little bit. Well, that didn't work. We'll just go ahead and use this and then I'll lay the cattail on top. That way it'll hold the flame a little longer. Get back. Ah, there it goes. Woo, I knew that would work. Get back. Now I'm just adding small sticks until I really get it going. Good old fire on a cold day. I love my little grill here. This thing's awesome. It's just a little welded uh, grill out of half inch stainless steel surrounded by uh, bricks, fire bricks. I think I got the fire going plenty good enough now that I can start adding some more uh, substantial logs in a minute after I put these few more on. I was using my silky big boy. That thing's a beast. I love it. Alright, let's see. Put these on. Now the fire, I should have kept that one. I need a poking stick. Okay, the fire is sort of towards the back back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with the two from the um, 1049 uh, Trail Master Chef set. It's a Boy Scout set because I don't, I know it's similar to the other, but I don't want to get it confused with it. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump some applesauce in here. Just gonna dump a little bit in the bottom. I don't think it takes much. Just enough to cover the bottom. All right, let's dump some in here. This is the cocoa pot from the Trail Master set. Now I think what I'm going to do. Ooh, that fire's getting hot. I think what I'm going to do now. Put another. A little bit more of a substantial log on there. I'm going to do the cocoa pot. I mean the cup from the wherever set. Dump a little bit in there. Just enough to cover the bottom. And I'm going to put it right here and start preheating it. Now them flames are going to have to die down just a little bit. Before I can move anything towards the back of the grill. So, we're going to wait on that. Let the fire kind of die down just a little bit. And then we'll see what happens. Now this is one of them kind of deals where you hope for success, but you also hope for failure. <laughs> because I want all my old cookware... I want all my old cookware to work, but then again, if I could find some that was, you know, that actually would turn the applesauce a color, then I could tell if it was toxic or not. Right. I'm going to go ahead and put the wherever one on. Splash it around a little bit on the bottom. Just enough to cover the bottom. I think I'm going to leave the top of it. Now see, there's, there's steam coming from that one over there. I don't know if you can see that or not. <coughs> steam coming out of it. I think I'm going to scoot that one forward. Now the other pot that looks like that, 
is the pot that I've used a lot and I'm not going to put it on yet until I take that one off because I don't really want to get them mixed up or move to the side. And then this big cast pot I'm going to put it on later. This is the pot that I'm concerned with because I've cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it and it still makes paper towel a funny color so it wouldn't surprise me if that turned to applesauce of color even if it was like I don't know black or gray. So I'm going to turn this now. Now I want this stuff to start steaming. I don't I don't want it to boil, but I do want it to at least get hot enough to where it's gonna steam. And I'm gonna try not to try not to cook it if I can. Put a couple more pieces of wood in there. Let's see. Let's put a piece over here. Put a piece right here piece right here. Yeah, that'll work. Maybe put a small piece in that back side. Make sure them flames are in there. Yeah, I got flames coming up right over here in the middle. Right over here in the middle where they're, they're in the pot. And I got some steam coming off of this one over here. hold that up there's no steam coming off it kind of concerned about that little cup I don't want to get it too hot I'm starting to get some serious steam off one of those pots see if you can see it on the camera I don't know if you can or not it might be turning a little bit brown around the edges, but I don't see any pink yet. Let me smell it. Ooh. Oh, it smells like a cooking apple pie. <laughs> see what this one looks like. It's a little bit brown on the edges. And now you can see the steam coming off of it. That's plenty hot enough. Ah, oh, smells like a apple pie cooking. Well, so far so good on that stuff it's looking good to me it's wherever pot let's put it over here under the flame i think i'm gonna put another log in there nah. yeah i'm gonna put one over there to the side at an angle over to the side I gotta keep my flames up i've only got about an hour left of daylight i'll try to get everything I'm going to do done now. now. I believe I am more than satisfied with this one small pot. Yeah, it's kind of starting to burn just a touch on the edges. Now I haven't seen any color change yet, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to set this over here in the front. I'm going to set it over there. And this is a part of that set. I haven't seen anything thing yet with it. Oh, man, that smells good. It's like apple pie. Now, I think what I'm going to do... Oh, you can see this kind of bubbling in the corner. Nothing yet. So let's move this over here to this side. Move this cup over here closer. Now let's take this big pot here. This is the one that's kind of got me concerned. Let's dump a little bit in here. Slosh it around a little bit. Put a little more in there. Try to coat the bottom real good. If it splashes up on the sides, I guess that's okay too because maybe it'll get it out of there. Let's put that, that nubby thing facing that way. All right. Oh, so now, have I got, ooh, I got the wherever over there steaming big time. Let's 
So let's pull off the wire ever and take a peek at it. That's not too bad. All right, now let's leave this back in the corner. Put another piece of wood in here. Now this is a part of that other set, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave it up there, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this other one on, I believe, because I have taken the one off the 1049 Trailmaster set. I have to kind of pay attention to everything because I don't really want to burn this stuff. I'm just trying to, you know, make sure that I'm getting it cooked. So let's let it sit there and simmer. The wind's really kicking up. So far, no, no colors. I think I need to move that little one a little bit closer. Or put it over on the corner. No color change yet. Put it over here. Now this is starting to steam. That might, that might be starting to look a little different. I'll take the other one. It's probably the same. I'm gonna put it in. Let's coat the bottom of that. This is a really dark black and one. This is from my my little three piece set. Now the fire's starting to die down. I'm gonna put it in there. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch the cocoa pot. I'm going to put it directly over that hot flame and get it steaming. That way, I'll get it completely off the grill. Now, I'm going to keep an eye on that one and see what it does. All right, this is already bubbling. Let me turn this so I can see what I'm doing. This is already starting to bubble. And this, I have dang near burnt. I don't want to burn it. So I'm gonna take this off. I feel confident with this one and this one. I think they're good. Now this, dang. Well, I think we got something going on here. Can you see the steam coming off of this? Now that has a very, very significant color. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. Look, this is starting to kind of burn a little brown, but it's still got that yellow tint. I'm taking it off. I'm taking this off. I feel confident in this. This is this is still yellow. I'm going to put that back there. We got something going on here. Let's see if I can hold these up too close to the camera to see if I can see the difference. Look at the difference. There's a significant difference. A huge difference. Dang. I think we have a winner. Well, well I don't know about a winner. Maybe, maybe a loser. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I ain't gonna put no more wood. I'm just gonna let that simmer for a minute. And I'm gonna see if it gets, if it changes color anymore. Well, I am most definitely feeling good about my results. Had yellow here, this is good. This is still good. Pull this off. See the steam coming off it? That's still got like a yellow look to it. Now I feel confident in this, that this is bad. It's gotta be bad. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. Let's get one of these up. So, oh, yeah. I 
I think there's a huge difference in it. A huge difference. Oh! Oh! Oh, that stinks. That's another thing, too. This right here... That smells nice. It smells like a fresh apple pie being baked. Oh! Good apple pie flavor. Oh, it's got a bad smell. See it from a distance? I'm going to try one more thing. Let me pull this off. I think that's actually kind of burning a little bit. Let's compare it to this one. Now I'm going to try something here. Let's try something. Oh, let's see. Uh, okay, let me do this. It's probably going to ruin it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down here. And let's put some right over here. Oh, yes. Absolutely. That Well, that's it. That's it. We've got a winner. I mean a loser. That is it. That is it. That is it. Oh, you could really see that. Look at that. The others didn't change any color at all. This has changed big time. This is the cooked applesauce, and that was the uncooked I just dumped in. Huge color difference. Well, I'm not going to use that anymore. <laughs> Dang. Well, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> I'd be dang, it actually worked. Oh. I'm amazed at the smell, too. This smells so good. That smells like fresh apple pie bacon. Oh. All right, so that's it. Uh, hey, you know something? Something else just a, a thought occurred to me. These are stamped out of sheet aluminum. Aluminum. That is stamped out of sheet aluminum. This is stamped. The little cup I had was stamped, but this is cast. So maybe it's got something to do with cast. Old cast aluminum and cookware. Because none of these are bad. And I know for a fact that these are from the 50s and 60s. And I don't know, but I don't know what this is from. I don't know what's been cooked in it. I don't know what year it is. The only thing I know by looking at it is is most definitely cast. Huh. I'll be dying. Well. Alrighty then. <laughs> uh Hope you had fun. Hope you learned something. Uh, this was this was pretty cool for me. Uh, I like doing this. This was this was very cool. Um, I hated that that big pan or pot right there is bad. I'm not using it. There's no way. There is absolutely no way. Not when there's that big of a difference. It's got like a pink tint to it. I'm still amazed. Now, I'm not using that no more. So if you test any of your stuff and you get something that looks like that, it is officially a shelf ornament. It's a antique decoration. Don't use it. Alright, well I'm glad to have this video out of the way and I'm glad that I tested all my other cookware. That was pretty cool. Um, uh, I just I have a list of videos and I have to do these things as I have time. And sometimes I can't get away from the house. Sometimes I have to do things here. Uh, when I'm stuck here, it's a good time to take care of these videos. And as far as deer season, we've, we're through a bow season. And we're now into gun season. So I don't want to get shot. <laughs> but as soon as I can get out in the woods, i got a radical new uh, heated uh, shelter that I'm going to show. It's got a fire pan and it's shaped similar to a teepee. Maybe similar to a pyramid. I'll show it as soon as I can. But like I said, i got a long list of videos I'm going to try to get to. So, whatever. I enjoyed spending time with you. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. I hope you learned a little bit. This is pretty eye-opening because, you know, I I haven't seen anything. All I've heard is griping and complaining about this old cookware. I haven't actually seen any test results on it. And, you know, I, I obviously got some kind of results from it. So, you know, the color of it, y'all tell me what y'all think. Was, was there a big enough difference in it that, that something's going on? Uh, reply in the comments of what y'all think or if any of y'all ever actually have any experience with this and uh <clears throat> so 
until the next one, I shall see you in the next one.